Tyrannosaurus. Over a thousand dinosaur species once roamed the earth. The Tyrannosauridae are by far the most famous. They include such animals as Albertosaurus, Gorgosaurus, Despletosaurus, Tarbosaurus, and of course Tyrannosaurus rex. In 1902, Barnum Brown, then an assistant curator for the Department of Vertebrate Paleontology at the American Museum of Natural History, recovered a partial skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus rex at the Hell Creek Formation in Montana that would become the holotype specimen. Tyrannosaurus rex, one of the most feared predators in the age of the dinosaurs, may have been built for endurance, not speed. One of the largest and most complete T-Rex skeletons ever found was nicknamed Sue, after its discoverer, paleontologist Sue Hendrickson. The eye sockets face mostly forwards, giving it good binocular vision. The arms, which were approximately three feet long, featured crescent-shaped talons. Scientists say that the two large holes in its skull acted as a kind of internal air conditioning unit to help the dinosaur lose heat. Scientists believe that tyrannosaurs communicated not with roars, but with low frequency sounds like whales and elephants do today. Many dinosaurs like T-Rex couldn't stick out their tongues, which were rooted to the floors of their mouths, like those of alligators. The oldest Tyrannosaurus specimen analyzed was only 28 years old. The heaviest Tyrannosaurus rex specimen ever found an animal that weighed an estimated 19,500 pounds in life. A new found sister species, Tyrannosaurus macrensis, was announced in 2024 from a partial skull that paleontologists unearthed in 1983 while exploring the Hall Lake Formation in New Mexico. The ancient landmass known as Lara Midia was made up of what is now the western coast of North America. The new findings suggest that Lara Midia is a likely origin of the Tyrannosaur lineage, which would imply that these dinosaurs later spread to Asia. However, there is still uncertainty about this. Hi, I'm Mr. Levier, and I'm here at the Canadian Museum of Nature in Ottawa, Canada, and we're going to look at a Despletosaurus, an ancient Tyrannosaur, believed to be an ancestor of Tyrannosaurus rex. Let's take a look. So here we have the amazing skeleton of a Despletosaurus. Now, Despletosaurus was originally identified as a Gorgosaurus and it was a paleontologist here at the Canadian Museum of Nature, Dale Russell, that back in the 1960s showed that the animal was a new genus and species. This dinosaur had a robust body with long dagger-like teeth. Boy, it must have been a really powerful hunter. 